Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to A Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant, and what a pleasure it is to be here in this beautiful barn. I'm at the barn in Alswick, and I'm with the lady behind the business, Kay Hamilton Crook. Hello, Kay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> Bit right. of a pause there. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm very comfy. Good. You're settled. Yeah, You're settled. settled. Yeah. Okay. So what I'd like to do is if we could start talking about your journey as to how this beautiful place came about, because yeah. I believe it goes back to 2012 when the when the thought first came. Yeah. So mm. two thousand end part of 2012. Yeah. We had a mutual friend. Uh, that was involved in the process of the entire site being renovated and the owner here wanted this to be maintained as one whole venue and not be split into a dwelling so okay. lots of Thai barns have floors put in yes um, and it ruins the actual building internally yeah. externally it still looked the same but internally it wouldn't look anything like it had done originally and they were keen to keep it as original as possible okay and they started to talk about maybe it being an event space or a wed you know, wedding venue. Yeah. And she put us in touch, well, him in touch with us. Okay. And they loved their concept of a local couple. Yes. Because we literally live a 15 minute walk from here. Okay. Uh, being involved and that we've got the background knowledge of that. And we've got the experience of working in the events industry. And I'd already worked at a previous wedding venue. Right. So we had the resources and the tools and understanding what would be involved. Mm. And then that process took a long time. A long time, yeah. Because it was completely there was no windows really. No, there were no doors. There was trees growing through was the windows. <laughs> it was a cattle barn here, so the floors were sloped in. Right. And behind all the panelling is where they used to put concrete over brick for the cattle when they used to rub up against walls yeah, yeah. to maintain the, the structure of the building. Okay. Um, to what it looks like today is obviously oh, very it's different. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was, and it was a, the thatch opposite us had a corrugated roof on it. Did it? It originally would have been thatch, but over the years, it, when it was also derelict, they'd yeah. obviously just patched it up with corrugated iron. <laughs> so it was That's... a very different place in 2012 to what it is today. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this, you're on part of the Oswick Hall Estate. We are. Yeah. So what does that mean? Does that, do you get, do you, does that help the, you know, the weddings? Does that, does that help you in a way or what does that mean? I think it sounds Just, posh. It does, it? actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the estate has seven properties on it. Okay. Which, um, all we've lived in by either people that work on the estate yeah. or family. Yeah. This was the original farm down here where we are, where the courtyard. Yes. And the new farm with all the very big buildings that you now get day typically with farming is sort of four fields that way. Okay. Um, and we get, I, I suppose it's... It's quite historical. I think the Queen Elizabeth I stayed in the house. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, so there's a bit of history to, yeah. to the estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite nice. Okay. And the main function for it now is weddings, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as we can see, it's such a beautiful building. We do thing. offer you know, parties and you know, yeah. anything else like that. And conferences. We do quite a lot of corporate jobs. Okay. But it primarily is a wedding venue 90% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And people... Um, are local people that get married here? Do they travel from a long way? We do have local people, which is lovely, because I yeah. can go to the shops in my local high street and bump into two brides that got married here for yes. the last four years, yeah, that's which nice. is really lovely. Yeah. But we sold a wedding via Zoom with a couple in Australia this by year. Zoom? They still haven't seen the venue. They won't sit until their wedding day. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. So we, yeah, we... You're adaptable. We're adaptable, and we have couples from everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, a wide reach. Okay. But I think technology helps with that. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, 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 and the changes that we've had over the last few years. That affected you, of course, it did COVID, and how did you get through that with technology? Yeah, that was yeah. really hard. Yeah. We'd only been open really in full swing for a year. Yeah. And then obviously we had to shut. Mm. Um, we didn't really open for 18 months. Right, right. Fortunately, I suppose, because we were so new, all of our couples we were able to accommodate yeah. and move them to a date that they were happy to move to. Okay. We lost, I think, out of all of our weddings, three due oh. to either getting pregnant and moving on in life, yes. <laughs> to not, the... not getting married anymore, yeah. to whatever it might Missed be, the gap. Uh, but not to any actual fault of the venue yeah. at that point, which was great that we could actually do that. We also picked up quite a lot of weddings where venues weren't able to accommodate them. Okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of venues obviously 
a fall for three three years in advance or two years in advance, so they couldn't move them to a date they wanted, so mm. they ended up cancelling their wedding and coming here. Mm. Okay. So we had quite a few do that. Right. Well. Um, so you're also you also plan weddings, right? We so do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you personally um, with within the business within the business, yeah. so we're an event planning wedding venue. Yeah. So couples will come to us to choose their day here, but then we will help them with the process. We don't pick their suppliers, their florist, what they're going to wear or anything like that. Yeah. But what we will do is we will ask them for all their suppliers that they're having on the day, right? Get their information, and we will then look after that supplier and handle that up until their wedding day for them. We will make sure they've got the right insurance, the, the right public liability, yeah. that they're going to turn up at the time that we need them to be here so it's seamless okay. for couples. Yeah. Um, and then look after them throughout the day. So we will run the day from beginning to end. Right. Um, Have you ever had anyone ask you anything that you can't do? Oh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> Put you on the spot. Anything we can't do. Uh, only things that... For example, with like an Asian wedding, they like to do painting right. on the floor. Right, uh, We can't do that in here. No. It's a solid oak floor. And so it's heated, isn't it? It's heated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or open fire inside. Mm. Can't do that. No, no. Okay. So things like that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fireworks we can't do. We have a £100,000 thatch within 10 metres of the building. <laughs> so we can't do that. Yeah. So there's, there's elements of things that we can't. But I've had a helicopter fly in. Yeah. We've had a, a bride that was a trapeze artist. So she did trapeze art did she? during her drinks reception. Yeah. We've got it all set up by the pond in, in a wedding dress, strapped in. And off wow. she went. Um, so yeah. we, we try to be as adaptable as possible because mm. I... I've worked in the industry long enough to know it's your wedding day mm. and I want you to have the day that you want. You shouldn't be confined by me. Absolutely, if we yeah. Can do it, if we can make it happen, then we'll make it happen. Yeah. yeah. When you say you worked in the industry long enough, what, what, what part of the industry did you do before this then? Immedi uh, immediate, I suppose, before that in relation to this was I worked at another wedding. I was a wedding planner for another venue. Okay, okay. So I did that for two years. Right. And previously to that, I worked in corporate events and hospitality okay so it's always been your your my, thing my kind of yeah yeah. Thing, yeah what do you like about it the most what's the best part of what you do well who's not to love a wedding day yeah, I mean, it's a, a, happy day. It's a celebration so everybody's yeah. here to have a lovely time mm. you know and that joy in that day and watching someone give themselves to somebody else for the rest of their lives yeah. it's, you know it's such a special moment yeah. and to be we feel honored to be part of that day yeah yeah and it's always beautiful yeah, it's not, you know, it's never... How's it, how can it not be good? Yeah, yeah how can we not be the enjoyable? It's always brilliant. You know, <laughs> yeah. He yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't love a dance. And, yeah. you know, it's that kind of... When yeah. we were talking to um, some couples earlier that got, that got married here, your team were behind us and some of them were in tears because yeah. they were so, you know, so emotional about the day and it brought back so many good memories for them. We've that built such everything. a good, tight team here. Mm. We're all so invested in their day. Yeah. You know, we want them to have the day of their dreams. Mm. So, mm -hmm. and because we spend at least nine months a year with that couple, yeah. building that, planning the day from the finite, you know, what time they're arriving, what time they're cutting their cake, yeah. what time they're walking down the aisle. You know, every detail is done by the minute. Yeah. Uh, I never let anything run over. Uh, um, you know, yeah. everything runs to time unless yeah. something drastic happens, but nothing tends to. So, mm. yeah. Excellent. Um, what does the future hold? What's your plans? We're not a a wedding venue that wants to do a wedding every day. Okay, yeah. So I'd like between 60 and 100 weddings a year. Right. I'd, ideally, I'd love two weddings a week. We don't, I don't believe if you do a wedding every day, you can invest the time in the people that are getting married, what alone remember their names. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's our unique selling point here is we are invested in each couple that choose to get married with us. And by the time they get married or the time that their wedding day arrives, we know their nan, their dog, yeah. you know, <laughs> whatever it might be, whatever quirk it is on that day that's yeah. important to them, we would have made sure that that happens for them. And mm. if it could go to that, that's all I, I'd You're be happy, happy with, that. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Quality and rather than quantity. Absolutely. And the quality in the team. Yeah. And maintaining that team. And I think you get burnout very quickly with staff if you overwork them. Yeah. And yeah. the reason they love what they do is because there is that flexibility. Mm. And it's also for stuff. It's antisocial hours. Yeah, it you know, is. It's yeah, every yeah. weekend. Yeah. Know, for at least six months of the year. And they still love what they do because we don't do it day in, day out, mm. back to back. Mm. Um, Can we talk about the team a little bit? Yeah. Let's, let's, t t tell us who's in the team. 
So we've got Ellie, who's our head of weddings now. Who got married here. She got married uh, here. Yes. She started as kind of a Saturday on the bar. Yeah. She used to be a nursery nurse teacher. Okay. She always wanted to get into the wedding industry. Yeah. So she just came along to have a look. She was a mutual friend of the other lady who used to work with me. Okay. And so she came along and then she never left. <laughs> so, she loved it yeah. so much. And I trained her from yeah. day one up to where she is today. Okay. And she is an absolute credit to this venue. People, I mean, absolutely, every couple absolutely love her. She's warm, she's kind, she's considerate. And yeah, she's... Comfortable. She, can't, oh, she, she's one of a kind. Excellent. So yeah. she will be here from... 10 a.m. midday until 2 a.m. the next day, she won't leave. Great. You don't get that with many people. No. So when, you've, when you've got it, you have to keep it. Yeah. So yeah. she's amazing. They're all amazing. No uh, uh, Abby started with us as a student. Her mum actually rang me and said, I want my daughter to work for you. Oh, wow. I was right. like, if your daughter wants to work for me, she needs to phone me herself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I, I don't employ parents. No, that's right. Um, she, has, she related back to me about it, saying that, she was so nervous to make that phone call. And she remembers I was on a dog walk. We do a lot of walking here. I yeah. do a lot of walking meetings with a team. Okay. I thought it's important to get out in the fresh air. Yeah. And, um, and she said, all I remember is you're on a dog walk and you said, if you want to work here, you need to come and see me. I'll see you on Saturday at two or whatever yeah. it was. She's like, oh. <laughs> Panic. Um, as she arrived, she came in and she fitted in straight away. And yeah. She was very nervous, but she's absolutely brilliant. We've been training her through college and supporting her through her college work. And she finished that last year, I believe, two years ago now. And she, we're just training her up as a wedding assistant. Okay, yeah. So she's done very well. That's great. Claire has worked for me since she was 16 on and off. Wow. And she'll be 30 in April. Wow. She's basically my right arm. Okay. Uh, she does everything that I don't want to do and everything else to make sure my life runs, runs seamlessly. But like she helps me across all my businesses. <laughs> Uh, she's also the venue manager, so she makes sure it's got cleaners, okay. we've got bar staff, it's stocked, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then finally we've got Lucy, who started just over a year ago. And I didn't really have a job for Lucy, mm. but she wanted to work here. So I said, well, come and work and we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm a true believer that people arrive in your life. Yeah. And, you know, right time, right place. And, I said, and she has naturally progressed her own job role. And she looks after all the social marketing. Yeah. She helps with all the open days. She does all the material for that. And that's becoming nearly a full-time job on its own. Right. Yeah, so yeah. she looks after all the corporate work now, okay. all of our retreats and the marketing side of the business. Right, right. And there's lots of other people, but they're the main core yeah. girl team. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a really cool team. I've met them all, and they're all really fun people, which is really important, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And yeah. they've got to be fun, and you've got to have a good time with it all as well. Um, well... I think this place is amazing. Um, the, 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 the size of it and the way it's decorated and the, the, the way it's set up for weddings, I think is, um, uh, when we were speaking to guests earlier, they all sort of said they knew straight away as soon as they walked in. That speaks so much volumes. I think we are, I worked in the events industry. So, so we you had, know. So we had to set up, set up a day for a day only. Mm. And it had to be that wow factor for everyone to walk in. So I run everything like that. Yeah. So every time, even if someone's just booked a show around, they're coming in half an hour, all, all hands on deck, lights on, candles lit, yeah. barn set, glamping opened, yeah. and we make it look beautiful. Mm. I send the girls out on recce's every year to other venues to go and experience what it is to, and to see another venue mm. and how, the, how they're looked after, how they're treated, yeah. what was the venue like, was it warm? Was it lit? You know, yeah. all the, to teach them why I'm so specific on things looking beautiful yeah. all of the time. Yeah. Every time they come back, they're like, oh, my God. The lights weren't on. They weren't <laughs> in. They were wearing Ugg boots. Uh, whatever they weren't interested be. in they me. Anyway. They, they just didn't even see that they wanted to be there. There was mm. no table set up. There was no ceremony. I couldn't visual, You can't visualise. Yeah. It was just, and it was dirty. That you could see the dirt in the corners. We hadn't been swept. Pro all that kind of detail yeah, yeah. Uh, that I'm very, very specific on. Yeah. We understand now why, because when you walk in here on an open day or on a show round, it's set to give you the idea of how your day might be. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I think people need that. Oh, definitely when they get married, definitely. And the attention to detail in here. I mean, it is. 
it is brilliant. Mm. Um, a mm. lot of that was with my husband okay. and the owners to make sure that we had the right lighting. Yeah. You know, underfloor heating was a no-brainer. We didn't want radiators stuck to the walls. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 We it. But most barns have got like those infrared, like red heaters. You know, yes, they do, don't they? And they've yeah. got things like black speakers stuck on a white beam. And it's, they do, uh, yeah. Black cables running down the wall. It's all those things that just go, oh, really? Yeah. Or that draping in the ceiling to ruin the effect of the amazing barn. Yeah. We, which you know is just hiding cobwebs and spiders. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got all that sorted out. I mean, it's, well, I pay a man with a big pole to come and look through the ceiling, you know, every six do. months. You know, it's yeah. that kind of detail that you have to make sure that you're on to. Yeah. It's not, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. That's been great listening to all the, all the things you do, and I can see how the pleasure and the happiness you get from it. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me here to talk to you. It's been really, really good, and um, it's a lovely place. So thank you, everyone, for listening. If you need to talk to Kay, all our details will be on our website, yeah. and um, they're all underneath this podcast. Please just get in touch with her. I'm sure she'll help you with any questions you've got about getting married here, getting of course. Married. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, thank and we'll you. see you for another podcast soon. Thanks, Kay. Cheers. Thank you.